Mm. Call me crazy, but... So, back to your girlfriend. My girl, uh, Rachel. Rachel. Your, your, call your, me. We go ahead lunch. <laughs> yeah, I don't want... Please don't invite me to that lunch. <laughs> back to crazy ass April oh, and her friend, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She just need a hug. Y'all gonna leave her alone. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> So I, I do want to go back and I do want to talk a little bit about Caitlyn uh, Jenner okay. and the transgender issue because you know do we want to do we want people say they're the same? Some people say they're different. Some people say they're just the same. I've seen both. I've seen both arguments, and I just want to share a, a position that John Hopkins Hospital took. So mm-hmm. John Hopkins Hospital was the first hospital to ever do sex right. uh, sex change or sex reassignment surgery, mm-hmm. and they were, you know, the, the the godfathers, if you will, of the surgery. And in the 1970s, they did a study, and they decided not to do them anymore. They said they were they weren't going to perform them anymore because what they found is that that people had people that are transgender have really psychological problems yeah. mm-hmm. that, right that's kind of what it stems from you right. see yourself as a, a man or woman but really your mind tells you you're something else and so they found that they were doing the study of people that had this sex reassignment surgery and those that had not and they found absolutely no difference mm. in terms of their mental state and they were like some people were happier after getting the surgery, but just as many people were still unhappy right. even after getting the surgery. And so they really took a stance and said that at the heart of the problem is confusion over the nature of transgendered. Sex change-